by heart, get ready. Fantasy football is here. Welcome to the Full-Time Fantasy Show. FullTimeFantasy.com is home to the Fantasy Football World Championships and the best players in the world. Real money winners giving their secrets to help you win. Now exclusively on iHeart. This is the Full-Time Fantasy Show with your host, the one, the only, Dr. Roto. Dr. Roto, get out the insurance cards, get out the copay. The office is open, my friends. All right, let's get to it. The week in review. By the way, did you guys check out my article on si.com backslash fantasy, the visionary article? I may have to go to it. I'm actually, I, I think I might be pretty proud of this. One second here. Just throwing it out. Yes, I'm tooting my own horn. Just throwing it out. Oh, here we go. What did I do? Who did I say? Hmm. Josh Allen, not bad. Eckler, good. Johnson was putrid. Gore was good. Hmm. These got, my receivers were bad. Oh, then I had Greg Olson. All right. I was. I didn't. Oh, my start sit was better. That was it. I went ahead. Mike Evans. I was like, play Mike Evans. People like, you know, what should I do with Mike Evans? You play Mike Evans. That's what you do. You play Mike Evans. You play him because he's a star. So my visionaries, retrospectively, were mildly visionary. Not as visionary as I would like. I think I was reaching too much. I won't do that anymore. You deserve the best, and I'm going to give that to you. Speaking of the best, Daniel Jones, best quarterback in New York City. 336 yards and two touchdowns. Let's not get that excited yet. He was playing in garbage time because the Buccaneers quit after the halftime. If you're Bruce Arians, you're pulling out your scalp because you don't know how you lost that game. Mike Evans couldn't be covered on the field, and you lost this game because your team quit playing. You you ever see the Patriots do that? Seriously, ask yourself that question. Right? Do you ever do you ever see the Patriots give up? No, you don't. You see Tampa Bay give up. That's why Tampa Bay doesn't make the playoffs. That's why New England wins Super Bowls. Daniel Jones got Ingram involved. He got Shepard involved. He even got Darius Slayton involved. When you can get Darius Slayton involved, you know you're doing your answer something good. Now, very sad about Saquon Barkley. Going to be out, I don't know, maybe a couple of months. Wayne Gallman. Do you have your handcuffs? You should have had Wayne Gallman if you had Saquon Barkley. I know I do in two leagues. Wayne Gallman's the guy at your draft that you never want to pick. You're like, it feels dirty. You're like, yeah. But then when you don't have him, you lose. Because Wayne Gallman doesn't suck. He's not great, but he doesn't suck. I'm just throwing a name out there. Is it possible the Giants are going to get C.J. Anderpuke? Maybe he fits. I don't know. He really doesn't fit anywhere. Just throwing it out there. Famous Jameis Winston, way to blow a victory. Great job as usual. Mike Evans, your star. How do you not give Chris Godwin the ball? They were feeding Mike Evans so many times you forgot Chris Godwin exists. You can't do that. He's a great player. All right, the Patriots beat the Jets 30 to 14. This game was way closer than people thought. They took the, I can't believe they took the foot off the gas pedal. That is so unpatriot like. But Sony Michelle is starting to stink. There's a smell. And it's Sony Michelle. Nine carries for 11 yards. If he doesn't get that touchdown, 1.1 yards in the game. 1.1 points. Good luck with that. See how many fantasy leagues you're going to win with that. None. Sexy Rexy Burkhead looking good. 47 yards and a touch on the ground. Even had six catches receiving. He's a player. Belichick loves this guy. For for the Jets, I mean, Le'Veon Bell is a start. Everybody else you can't start. I mean, Robbie Anderson was a dumb start. If you started him, I hate to use the word dumb, but it was a dumb start because Stefan Gilmer suffocated him, literally. All right, Buffalo against Cincinnati. Josh Allen almost lost this game after playing so well. Cincinnati was close at the end there. Frank Gore did what Frank Gore does against bad defenses. Yeldon had more points than I thought he should. This would have been a great game for Singletary. Great game. Beasley in that offense. I told you to cut Zay Jones. John Brown did his thing. Dawson Knox was interesting. Former quarterback at Ole Miss. 
For Cincinnati, I would I am sorry. I benched Joe Mixon, but he looked good. It was a bad matchup. I didn't like it, but I was wrong. Look, I always tell you when I'm right. I love telling you when I'm right, but I have to tell you when I'm wrong. Playing Mixon was what should have been happening. All right, Dallas against Miami. Zeke gets 125 yards. Tony Pollard gets 103 yards. Unreal. 6.9 yards that they give up the Dolphins per carry. Amari Cooper has two touchdowns, but nobody else did anything. Anybody, I like Devin Smith, Randall Cobb. This was just like two, three players. Pollard, El- Elliott, and Cooper. For Miami, if you have Kalen Balaj, I, I am literally laughing right now. That guy is so bad. Kenyon Drake actually played well, and I do like Preston Williams. They try to get jo- Josh Rosen was was okay, but Josh Rosen is going to get cut next year when they get Tua. All right, Green Bay against Denver. Stop with the Jamal freaking Williams. Stop it. I need more Aaron Jones, but he had two touchdowns, so that was good. But Jamal Williams is touching the ball 14 times, and Aaron Jones is touching it 11. That's not good. Who was good was Marquez Valdez Scantling. He was good. Six for 99 and a touchdown. Where was Emmanuel Sanders? This was a Philip Lindsay week. I liked him more than Freeman. I said as much on the forums. Joe Flacco stinks. I would just like to share, share that with everybody. You know who doesn't stink? Jacoby Brissett does not stink. He really doesn't. He is getting better and better and better. 28 for 37 for, 200, for 310 yards and two touchdowns. Marlon Mack, 74 yards and a touchdown. Brissett is still not running, but he can. T.Y. Hill, Nate for 65 and a touchdown. But he spreads the ball around. Reich is a genius. He really is. For Atlanta, Julio was out, 8 for 128 and a touchdown. Hooper, Austin Hooper, 6 for 66. 666, two touchdowns. Where is Calvin Ridley? Come on. Edo Smith, I actually started him a league, got a concussion. That really hurt. That hurt. Okay. A lot of people right now are going to get angry at me. So before you do, I need you to not look at the numbers, but look at what happened. Lamar Jackson did not throw the ball very well. Firstly, did you see the catch to Seth Roberts? That was pass interference. The pass he threw to Willie Sneed was lucky. You can't be lucky in the NFL. It eventually comes back to haunt you. I am not saying that Lamar Jackson is a bad quarterback. I am not saying that at all. I'm saying he is going to struggle against better pass defenses because the Chiefs do not have a good pass defense. And he struggled a little bit. He got lucky. What happens when he plays better teams? It won't be as easy. Darrell Williams, 62 yards. Mikael Hardman, oh my God, how fast is that guy? Demarcus Robinson with a great catch. Patrick Mahomes does what Patrick Mahomes does. That's what he does. All right, Minnesota at Oakland. Derek Carr really sucks. I'm just throwing it out there. He's terrible. And he's terrible on the road. He's just terrible. I mean, they, they got to move on from him. He's bad. Because there are skill players there. Darren Waller, Tyrell Williams, Hunter Renfro, Josh Jacobs. They're legit. But Carr is bad. Minnesota didn't need to do anything. They ran for 211 yards. Dalvin Cook, Alexander Madison, Mike Boone. They're bringing in everybody. If you own Stephon Diggs, you have to be concerned. The guy had three targets, three receptions, 15 yards. It's a problem. They want to run the ball, and Diggs is a problem right now. I like Diggs, and I have him in a league, but I'm regretting that pick. I thought it looked genius. It's not so geniusy anymore. Right? Thielen is getting it. That's about it. All right, Detroit at Philadelphia. Carry on Johnson, 20 carries for 36 yards. It's hard to run against the Eagles. You have to throw against the Eagles, and Marvin Jones did a great job. Kenny from Philly called it on the radio show. Carson Wentz was good, not great. I thought Miles Sanders looked really good. I did. I thought Miles Sanders looked really good. This is a, You better start watching him. He will uh, uh, turn into a star. So, 
How for you guys who follow me and listen to the podcast and have listened to me on the radio, you know how much I despise Cam Newton. You know it. Look at what Kyle Allen did. And then ask yourself, do you think Cam Newton would have done this? No. Kyle Allen went 19 for 26. All you have to do is be accurate. Greg Olson, open. Curtis Samuel, open. DJ Moore, open. McCaffrey, open. What more do you need to do? Cam sucks. He's already been ruled out for week four. Thank you. Bye. Later. All right, for Arizona, Kyle Murray, man, 30 for 43, 173 yards. That's not going to work. Now, the rushing was there, eight carries for 69 yards. That's why you drafted him. That's why you were all in on him. But there were guy, Trent Sherfield. Oh, my God. There was a touchdown. He just pooched it. Oh. Christian Kirk is a star. Larry Fitzgerald is a star. The rest of it, crap. All right, Texans against the Chargers. Deshaun Watson, what a beast. 351 and three touchdowns. They couldn't run the ball against the Chargers, but they threw against them. Kenny Stills was good. Hopkins was okay. We knew he was going to get shut down by Casey Hayward. I thought Will Fuller was going to be better. I thought Duke Johnson would have been better. For Los Angeles, how good is Eckler and how good is Keenan Allen? 13 receptions for Keenan Allen on 17 targets. Mike Williams, he's got to produce. I think people are starting to get frustrated with him. I know I am. All right, the Saints against the Seahawks. I literally dropped the Saints in 100 leagues. I literally dropped the Saints defense, and now I look like an idiot. Well, I mean, who knew that they were going to play this well? Who knew against Seattle? Chris Carson did nothing. Tyler Lockett was great. For New Orleans, you had Kamara, Thomas, and Zippo. Jared Cook, one for seven. Ah, he's cuttable until Drew Brees comes back. Latavius Murray, two carries, two yards. That's awful. That really hurts. All right, San Francisco, maybe the worst 3-0 team in the league against Pittsburgh, 0-3. Jimmy Garoppolo, so Mostert and Bryda. Jeff Wilson stealing touchdowns. But once again, look at the box score. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten guys you know, getting targets. Very hard to win when that happens. For Pittsburgh, they're not running the football. James Conner's not running the football. Where was uh, Jalen Samuels? You got to start to play this guy. Do me a favor. Play him. You gave Benny Snell three carries. I love this kid, Deontay Johnson. If he's available in your leagues, you get him. Rams, Cleveland. Sean McVay makes great halftime adjustments. He really does. He makes great halftime adjustments. Baker Mayfield, how do you not score at the end of that game? You're on the five-yard line. Are you telling me you can't find one pass to the end zone? That's a big problem. That's a problem. And let me share this with you. I've been thinking about this. Cooper Cup gets injured last year, and Jared Goff looks lost. Cooper Cup is back this year, and Jared Goff looks like Y.A. Tittle. Ask yourself this question. If Cooper Cup played in the Super Bowl, do you think the Rams would have won? I say maybe. I say maybe. Maybe yes. All right. Tonight games. Chicago against the mighty Redskins. Yes, I am kidding. The Redskins are not that mighty. Who do I like for Chicago? I hate Mitch Trubisky because he stinks. I am okay with Tariq Cohen, but I don't really feel great about it. David Montgomery I like. Allen Robinson I like. Those are the only... I'll play Montgomery, Robinson, and Cohen. I will. For Washington, I'll play Terry McLaurin and Chris Thompson. But I don't expect a very high-scoring game. And I think it can be kind of ugly. I do. So if you're going in thinking that you're going to get a big... uh, You know, a 60 tonight, I don't think so. Watching these quarterbacks is going to be a little bit painful. You're going to be like, oh, do I have to really watch this? I just ate dinner. I'm a little nauseous now watching Trubisky and Case Keenum. That's how you're going to feel. That's how I feel now even talking about it. All right, time now to put away the insurance cards, put away the copay. The office is closed, my friends. Back tomorrow with Waiver Wire Tuesday. All right, guys, this is Dr. Roto saying be well. Take care. Thanks for listening to Full-Time Fantasy. There's never been a better time to join and go full-time. Visit FullTimeFantasy.com. Use the promo ROTO50 for 50% off your first two months. And don't forget, fantasy players, please thumbs up the podcast on the iHeart app. See you next time.